All right, this video is gonna be fun. I got something to unbox, but let me explain here. So I'm finally in a rock band. Yes, a full electric band where I can use electric guitars. And I was totally lost. So I'm gonna kind of show you my basic setup. A lot of you've asked, and then I'll show you what's in the box. And I can't wait, because I haven't seen it either. All right, so we had one practice, woohoo. Um, so Max and I, that is my other friend who plays. I play guitar with, we're in an acoustic duo. He does play electric, I play acoustic. We slid into this husband and wife rhythm section. He, he plays drums, she plays bass. We did three songs, went really well actually. We did Cherub Rock by The Pumpkins, we did Creep by Radiohead, and we actually did uh, Take On Me by AHA, which sounds amazingly fantastic on guitars, but a good song's a good song. All right, now, here was my dilemma. I don't have a cab for the head that I wanna use. All my gear's in Florida. I am not gonna lug around a 412 Marshall half stack with a 100 watt head. I had a little JCM 900 head I used to tour with in the 90s. Left it with my engineer in Florida. Probably have my daughter pick it up. She can use it. So I did binge collect a lot of gear. Did you guys binge collect a lot of gear? Drop it in the comments. I would love to know your thoughts on that. So the pedal board, okay? So this is gonna be where all my tones come from. This little Rev D20 head, which is incredible. I'll do a whole review on that or just kind of an overview. It's a 420 watt tube head. It's got the two notes torpedo cab simulation built in. I run it DI. If you guys watch a lot of my electric videos, I'm always running this DI into my UA interface. It sounds amazing, but I really wanted to use this as my main thing. So I needed to build a 112 cab, which I did. You'll see come out of the box in just a minute, but just to kind of briefly explain this, did you binge collect gear like I did? Probably you did. Now, I did it during the pandemic like the rest of us. I was like collecting all this gear and I was like, what am I gonna do with all this? So there's a lot of pedals off screen you don't even see, but Boss ES8 is kind of the, the hub, the main controller. If you're not familiar with these, they basically just, you can leave your pedals on all the time and they run through this. And this also has amazing MIDI function, okay? So this, this Moog expression pedal controls all my MIDI stuff. It's mainly synced up to this uh, H9 because there's a bazillion sounds in it. So I use it for different things like that. I uh, got a couple of drives. I got the plumes by Earthquaker Devices, kind of an always on pedal, but I will see what this rev sounds like through this cab because that's the signal chain is changing. Uh, the Boss SD1, true, tried and true classic. Uh, I put the bender fuzz on there, sounds killer. Earthquaker Devices Nightwire, like a harmonic tremolo, those things are amazing. Got my tuner up here. Love, love, love the UA stuff. Here's the golden, and here is the Starlight, which is another delay. And then this Volante, this thing is, ah, so good, so good. All right, so that's that. Now, this is the Rev D20. Look at that, it's like a little lunchbox head, 420 watts. Pretty much a clean, you can get some grit out of it. It's got a little game thing, but it's a, basically a one channel amp. So it's a pedal platform amp, which basically means I'm gonna use my pedals for my tones and then I'll switch things in and out. Um, and we'll see where we go from there. So without further ado, why don't we put the pedal board on the table? We'll keep the little rev up here and then we'll unbox the cab. I'll explain what it is and then I'll do a bunch of like overviews of all this gear for you. So drop me a comment. What are you using for your live rig? What live rig? What's working well for, for you? I know some of you, a lot of you are using um, like the like like the like the rack stuff, like the Axe FX, the Kempers. Um, uh, what's the other one? I can't think of the name, but you guys know all the gear. Drop it in the comments if you're using any of that stuff, which I'm sure is amazing. But I kind of want to go old school. I'm kind of like a tube snob sort of, or you tube snob, but I'm willing to try new things. But let's unbox the cab. I'll tell you what I picked and why, and we will have some fun. Here we go. All right, here we go. So Mojo Tone Greyhound speaker in a 112 Canyon cab. Let's unbox this puppy. Hopefully I don't cut anything. So Mojo Tone, I believe is in North Carolina. Definitely look them up. They know their stuff. I had a nice talk with the guy, Keith. Thank you, Keith about this cab combo and why I chose it. So once I get this open, I will kind of give you the rundown of why I chose this particular speaker. And uh, a lot of you guys don't know, I think Mojo Tone will find out. They actually make the Greyhound, it's their speaker, custom voiced. And when he read to me what that was about, I was like, I love that. Hopefully I don't cut my finger open and bleed all over the place. <laughs> Would make for some good video content. 
Hopefully it'll... Uh, I swear I know how to use a box cutter, I swear. Oh, there we go. Okay. Gonna have to bust out the vacuum later, too. What do we got here? All right. La, 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 la. Oh, there it is. Okay, let's get it on the floor, and then we'll get it up here and let you check it out. Mmm, fresh speaker cab smell. Smells so good. All right, so I went with this one mainly because they said how they tried to voice it between that British and American vintage sound. So I think Marshall, Fender, and those are the kind of tones I want. Now I know the Rev D20 head, not sure if I'm right in this, but this is what I heard is kind of made for a lot of the Nashville guys. So it has beautiful cleans and it just has that edge of breakup. Again, again why it's an amazing pedal platform, but I think it's gonna run beautifully through this. So it's got a 70 watt, 8 ohm Greyhound speaker. All right, so I think it's gonna sound incredible. I know they, I know they used like a Blackface Twin and a PV5150 uh, type amp to voice this thing. So it talks about a smooth top in, uh, beautiful upper mid range, better like more than a like a like a vintage Celestin 30, which those are all the rage. I've had those, so I just wanted to try something new. Um, it says more punch than a Jensen C12. Um, great rock tone, and that's kind of what I'm looking for. So we're going to be doing like 80s, 90s, 2000s, 70s, 60s catalog, so pretty wide, but think wheelhouse, like that 90s kind of alternative rock. So let me grab the camera, and I will put the little rev head. We will officially crown the cab, and it's uh, it's a beautiful cab. The, the I mean, it's gorgeous. You can get these things totally customized, different Tolex, different grill cloth. But I just wanted it. I needed it more than weight because it was like an eight week lead time on that. So I said they had a black one in stock. Let me get it. It won't be the last one. Pretty nice weight wise too. Doesn't weigh too much. But let me kind of show you some of the, the, the craftsmanship on this bad boy. All right. Beautiful cab. Looks gorgeous. I can't wait to hear it. So the rev head fits very nicely. Beautiful quality carrying handle. Tolex looks great. I like the black on black. Come around. So they preloaded the speaker for me, which was nice. So you can see I can run right out of here. This rev head's great too, because I can run it speaker cab. I can also run it to front of house. Blend it that way. It's just an amazing amp. So that's pretty much it. So let's wrap this up and I'll try and get you guys some videos of this thing in action. I will take my old trusty SM57 and try and give you some real world mic'd up versions of this beautiful little piece of gear. Okay, so let's wrap this up. All right guys, so I can't wait to do some little demos of this beautiful little piece of gear. I'm super psyched to have a really nice 112 cab with a speaker. I've never used, but I think it's gonna be great. So drop me any comments, questions. Would love to hear what your live rigs are like. What kind of bands are you playing in? The world needs more bands, right? I think that's what's definitely gonna help bring music back and saw some promising stats on more guitar-based music is making it back into the mainstream. So I think that's super, super cool. All right, check out the links in the description. You know the drill. Number one thing is uh, check out the newsletter. There's a link for that. There's some good stuff in there. And uh, let's, keep this, let's keep this thing going. All right, so. Remember, only you can stop you. Don't stop. See you in the next video. Peace.